some of you are new here. Some of you just came around and, and started watching me just for this election cycle. So you're unfamiliar with what kind of person I am. So I will tell you. Listen, I, I, I'm, I want what's best for people. Okay, I want what's best for as many people as possible. I want to uplift the American working class. But if you expect me to be civil about this, you're at the wrong place. I mean, you can go to the CNN coverage for that if you want people to be like, oh, let's be nice now. Because I am going to be a petty bitch. I am going to be the sorest of winners in this circumstance. I'm letting you know that I will be petty. I am Tom Petty. I'm Petty White. You understand? I'm going to be overdosing. I'm going to be the Hunter Biden. Like to, what crack cocaine is the Hunter Biden? Hopium and copium is going to be to me. You understand? I'll be getting discharged from the Navy for getting caught overdosing on copium. That shit leaves your system in 24 hours. You understand? That's how much copium I'm going to be watching. MAGA tears. So many f***ing poll 4chan posts. So many people on the subreddit's like, Hassan, I can't wait to watch him cry when Donald Trump wins again. Shut the f*** up, you delusional prick. So yeah, if you want to also celebrate, you know, have 24 hours to yourself before the Washington Post articles and the New York Times articles come out about how we shouldn't be yelling and, and, and rejoicing, uh, you know, Donald Trump's victory too much. We shouldn't be gloating because, you know, these are still Americans and that, uh, you know, we, we got to unite the country. I said this yesterday and I'll repeat it. Donald Trump got more votes than Barack Obama did. Historic turnout in 2008, historic candidate Barack Obama. Because Donald Trump is the Barack Obama of racism, okay? We got a lot of work to do, but these fake civility conversations is not where we start. Boris Johnson has backstabbed Donald Trump. Oh no, Trump's closest European friend. Congratulations to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. The Ottoman wins again. Isn't it a bit premature to announce Biden is a winner when the votes are still being counted? The media dunked on Trump for declaring himself the winner before vote counting stopped. Now they're all doing the same thing. Same shit, way not to be biased. My man, if you don't understand how projections are declared by the media, historically, like throughout time, then that's not our fault. Yeah, you can't project someone to be the winner when swing states are still counting votes, when it's a close race. I didn't hear you crying when Kentucky went to Donald Trump immediately. Like, I didn't hear you go, wait a minute, all the votes haven't been counted in Kentucky. Like, what's going on? Bitch, because we know. We know which way Kentucky swings. We know which way Alabama swings. We know where Tennessee's going. I'm sorry. I can't believe they declared Joe Biden the winner before all the votes came in from Alaska. What the hell are they doing? What, do my votes not matter? Do the Alaskan votes don't matter? Is that what you're saying to me? Now, the one part that I'm worried about is that the silent majority, <clears throat> sorry, the can't shut the fuck up minority will actually go silent will actually go quiet after this and, I, and i'm fearful i'm fearful that they will take it too far and and start getting violent i'm fearful of that but also i'm simultaneously fearful that they'll be too quiet in which case i mean that kind of sucks too because that's my content i want the hogs to be at an arm's length but still yell and cry and shit you know anyway here is rudy giuliani melting the fuck down dude oh this is so good because they don't decide the election the call for joe biden isn't is it who was it called by? All the, oh my goodness, all the networks. Wow, all the networks. We have to forget about the law. Judges don't count. All the networks, all the networks. All the networks thought Biden was gonna win by 10%. Gee, what happened? Yeah, no, um, polls are of course exactly the same as projections that you can make once the counting process has started. Do you think Rudy Giuliani purposely is obfuscating here, or do you think he doesn't know? In the MAGA world, I, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I'm like, are they too stupid, or are they purposely being stupid? Uh, no, don't, be, don't be ridiculous. Networks don't get to decide elections. Courts do. Wait, what? My man said networks don't decide elections. Courts do. First of all, networks make calls. Networks make calls off of projections which also look at the tally, but also look at polls. Look at past performance in areas to declare someone a winner before all the votes are authorized. Because if we were to wait for all the votes to authorize, 
historically, we would have to be waiting for like, we would be waiting for two more weeks. Can you imagine two more weeks of what we just experienced in the past four days? Dude, my entire back, like my back has always been fucked up. Like I haven't been able to sleep. My back is just fucked up from the top to bottom. My lower back is fucked up now. Like, I don't know. I've just been stressing and crunching the entire fucking time. My anus is clenched like this. Just shut tight for four days. Imagine two weeks of this, dude. I would lose my mind. Here's who definitely doesn't decide elections. Courts. The American people decide elections. Courts don't decide elections. The American people vote for elections. The networks simply report on those votes. Saying this is just the most anti-democratic shit you can say. Oh, there's more copium from Scrouter. He said, nope. Why would you do that? Yeah, that's the easiest clap of all. Joe Biden said, inshallah, once in a debate and became the president of the United States. Yeah, he did. He fucking did, dude. He, he really did. Liberty Hangout. Boo Boo Bennett says, MSNBC is now openly We're calling tired. for the mass murder of Trump supporters. Says if there are survivors, they will do it again. What? <laughs> Bro, MSNBC. What's the funniest part about this is like, like, <laughs> like imagine msnbc of all outlets like msnbc of all outlets is gonna say like yeah time to take it up to the streets like cut the tall trees said msnbc meanwhile sebastian gorka is literally saying that like it's so everything conservatives do is pure projection msnbc will be like there's protests in the streets and i hope we arrive at like a peaceful means to, uh, to end these protests and they're like oh they're saying mass murder meanwhile sebastian gorka is literally like we must rise like the dragon of Hungary, the dragon of the East will come and conquer America once again. The Vitesse Rand will rise, take up arms. And then they're like, no, that's normal. Steve Bannon just got banned for saying he wants to cut off Anthony Fauci's head and put it on a pike. And these guys are like, liberals are calling for the blood of Trump supporters. Like, hey. wait, Trump supporters getting laughed at? Oh no. <laughs> at them stop it this is not the way we need civility in this country nypd is crying oh that's oh my god oh that's so awesome oh that's so oh dude dude that's oh this is porn this is literally porn dude this has got to be terms of service oh my god Yo, what's up with all the white ladies of the NYPD? Why are they crying? Oh, my mom is coming. She's like, she wants to just show me. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Look. No, no, she's crying. Look at that. He's so sad. What the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> what is happening, dude? Is this from like a Trump rally or what is this reason? Why are they doing it? Why are they crying like this? What a beautiful pupper, dude. Oh my God, he's got the white Mountain Dew. Or not Mountain Dew, sorry. The white diet monster, dude. Oh, what a fucking boomer. Oh my Lord. Congratulations to President-elect Biden. I have prayed for our president most of my adult life. I will be praying for you and your success. Man, the one that got away, dude. I, I think about this a lot. How much better would the world be with Jeb as president? All you needed to do was clap when he said, please clap. And you didn't. Please clap. Guess who's clapping now? Jeb is. President, we're doing this. We're looking. I know about. Buzz off. So here's the thing. No. No. Bro, you're on camera. What the f Did he forget? Is this real news or fake news? F off. That's insane. They, they are wilding out, dude. What's happening right now? Kamala cringe moment? Uh-oh. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next. Bro, that's the, hey, that's going to be the next president in like two years. What do you mean? You bet. You watch your f mouth, okay?
<laughs> yeah, she's a rem she's reminding him because he forgot. He's like, what? <laughs> Let me call Obama. We won. She's like, no, no, no. You're president. What? <laughs> Cut the malarkey. QAnon was a democratic strategy to keep many conservatives complacent and trusting the plan while the left continued their evil corruption. <gasps> They're turning on the QAnon. Oh no, some of these guys are turning on Q, dude. Dinesh D'Souza, what's he saying? Trump is playing golf. Yes, golf. This guy is truly amazing. The left wants him to bunker down and cry, but he's keeping his cool and getting his relaxation and still doggedly fighting for what is right. Let's follow his, exa let's follow his example of the cool-headed warrior. Oh, dude, rip. Rip. Uh, that's another, hey, that's another grifter down. Don't miss the injection of Trump supporters crying. If I give you one message to hold in your hearts today, it's this. Treat the word impossible as nothing more than motivation. Relish the opportunity to be what? an outsider. Yo! Yo, that's hilarious. Is that real? There's no way that's real. TikTok kids need to stop, dude. That's so embarrassing. It's weird when you cry on TikTok because... You know what I think when I see that? I think like, what's the process that happened that got you to cry on camera? Like you were crying and then you pulled out your phone and you were like, I got to film this. Like, so you lose all of the, uh, like the reality of it. Okay. So that's one. And then we got this one, obviously. Come on. You already know. Team star going from tomorrow to they cheating. Like, let me just, let me just ask a question. Okay. So here, here's the thing. Like, you're like, what, 15? You're like a white 15-year-old. You went to Urban Outfitters and got that, like, nice little thing to put behind you when you do your TikToks. Like, why are you crying about Donald Trump? Can you explain to me what the reason is? What, you thought that, like, Mexicans were going to actually, like, infiltrate this country or something? Is that why? And that's why you're like, oh, no. Like, now they're going to come in and, like, uh, I don't know, destroy American sovereignty or something? Like, why the f*** are you crying for, for Donald Trump? Like, what is the Biden administration going to do to you that is causing you to cry? At least, like, when Trump won, people were sad because the man won while talking about, like, how Mexicans were rapists and shit. Like, it was a sign that uh, America was very, very willing to vote for a dude who didn't even do the due diligence and, like, massage his talking points so that it do didn't come across as racist. He he's a guy who dropped the dog whistles and just used a bullhorn. So, seeing that was... Shocking for a lot of people. Now, I, I know that, you know, America is, is pretty f racist in a lot of ways. But, like, you're 15 years old. What are you crying about? Do you make $400,000 a year and you think Biden is going to... I mean, Biden's not even going to be able to raise taxes. Let's be real. I don't get it. Dude, how do you feel? I can't wait to die. Honestly, I cannot wait to die. Check that, by the way. Bro, you are literally a fetus. But you're alive, which means that they couldn't abort you. So you have nothing to worry about. And burn that f piece of shit second place uh, loser participation trophy. You don't understand how much Trump made the world a better place. Biden is taking away half our rights. Hope everyone thought that Biden was better. Biden was better is happy. What do you mean half your rights? Damn, every f white sorority girl is literally just a trump supporter what is this <laughs> Bro, get the f out of this country dude what whatever happens happens trump you are an amazing president no matter what anyone says you did so much for america like what what did he do what did trump do for america that helped you I need receipts, mother f Listen to me. You come into my chat, you defend capitalism, I need to see the deed to the factory. You come into my chat and you defend the DNC, I need to see pay stubs. If you're not a f high paid DC consultant, you can't come in here and defend the DNC's negligence. If you're gonna f come in here and be like, Donald Trump did so much for the country, I need to see what? I need to know what he did for you. What did he do for you? I'm so glad that Donald Trump lowered the corporate tax rate. It's like, bitch, you work at Applebee's. What the f*** do you mean? Oh, I'm so glad he moved the embassy to Jerusalem. Dog, you live in f***ing Kansas. What are you talking about? Well, he, he built the wall. The, the wall already existed. Like, wh 
What did these undocumented immigrants that came into the country, what did they do to you? What did they do to you? You know what they did for you? They picked the fucking avocados that you eat on your salad. You were on your TikTok crying. Meanwhile, the abuela from Guatemala was picking avocados so you could put it on your Chipotle. That's what they do for you. Replacing Trump with Biden is like shitting in your pants and changing your shirt. Is he saying Trump is the shit then? Like, I mean, he's right though. Like, what? He's saying that America shit his pants with Donald Trump in office and now replacing him with Biden is like changing your shirt. The very important. All right, America, you've seen it. You've seen what these fucking cheating, lying, scummy cocksuckers did. Our forefathers had to ask themselves the very important question. Is this country worth fighting and maybe dying for? You know what their answer was? Yes. You know what my answer is? Yes. You know what your answer should be? Yes. You know what? It's on. Let one motherfucker come in my face. Bro, someone is literally just going to grab you by your fucking pubes. What is this? Your face pubes. And I'll be the last face he ever comes in front of because I'll be. Like, what are you going to do, bro? Go find your eyebrows first, bitch. Beat the snot out of him. Like, go, go, go take some of this down here and like pepper it on your fucking eyebrows so you have a more expressive face. E.T. lookalike Andy over here. It's on. Let one motherfucker come in my face. I'll be the last face he ever comes in front of. Kind of weird. He, he just, he, I mean, fellas, is it gay to let a motherfucker come in your face? <laughs> don't you dare come on my face. <sighs> I don't want it. Dude, we're going to butt fuck you into oblivion tomorrow. You don't got a prayer, dude. You guys are going to get absolutely savaged. Savage! I mean, fucked up beyond belief. You have no idea what's coming. You think you know, but you have no fucking clue. Do you see that? Those aren't white supremacists, you stupid mouth-breathing assholes. Those are fucking Americans. On November 3rd, it is going to be a 40, 45 state landslide for President Donald J. Trump. There's nothing the left can do about it. You ran a shitty, you ran a shitty candidate with a shitty campaign, with shitty fucking surrogates, with a shitty vice president, with a shitty crackhead son for the uh, president's kid. You got shitty people all over the left. You have a shitty staff. You have shitty rallies. You have shitty ass Jill Biden. This line's gonna be so devastating for the left. We're gonna be calling the election before California has even finished voting. It'll be over. They're gonna be like, uh, Trump won every swing state on the East Coast, uh, plus New York, which we weren't expecting, uh, Maine and New Hampshire. Uh, we never say anything like this, and we know that the Central Time Zone's not done voting, but Trump is already over 300 electoral votes, and uh, Californians, you can stay home if you want. Let me repeat, Joe Biden cannot beat Donald J. Trump. They cannot stop the Trump train. It's over. I'm very confident that we're going to see an absolute landslide this year. And I, I think that we'll even see Trump win every single state. I'm very confident. Wow, dude. Wow, she said every state. Confident that Our analysts over at Global Financial Wealth Network predict a 40-state romping crush by the Trump campaign over Joe Biden. Folks, it's not going to be pretty. If I was a Biden supporter, I'd be looking for where I can exit stage left come November 4th. Crying pillow. But I can tell you right now, if you haven't figured it out, if you're not on the Trump train, you're going to be gonna, just going to win the election. And he's not just going to win in a landslide, but he's going to win in a mega landslide. Man, these, these QAnon people have so much confidence. It's like, imagine thinking Donald Trump had the cure for cancer. And A, locked away, because this is something that QAnon supporters believe, and he just didn't release it, and then you still support him. Meanwhile, guess what? You're like, oh yeah, Donald Trump is going to arrest every fucking, like, Democrat. This is another thing that QAnon supporters believe is like, Donald Trump is actually going to arrest every rhino and every Democrat that's ever opposed him that are doing, like, international sex trafficking or something like that. And there's going to be, like, a Day of the Rope style, like, fascist thing, right? Where they kill all the Democrats and stuff. This is what they actually believe. Imagine thinking Donald Trump's the guy to do that. What has Donald Trump been doing? Me crying. He's just been sitting at home watching Fox News, sad as fuck, for the past fucking four days. I'm gonna play a little bit of golf to make myself feel better because I'm kind of sad right now. 
Mm. Like, that's what Donald Trump is doing. You guys can think that he's like, you know, fighting against a deep state pedophile conspiracy. Meanwhile, this is another fun fact. Um, investigations and arrests of sex trafficking have gone down under Donald Trump's administration. Like, really down, too. By a wide margin. Unlike previous administrations. Just remember that next time you fucking uh, QAnon weirdos uh, think about how Donald Trump is fighting against the deep state pedophile conspiracy or some shit. This nonsense is worse than a witch hunt. It's a constitutional massacre. We are sick and tired of leftist propaganda. You can't just make up stuff because you don't like somebody. We are going to win. We ca you can't just make up stuff because you don't like somebody, I say. Right after I talk about the real God's honest truth about how Kamala Harris is a radical Marxist cop killer herself. Trust the plan, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, yeah, you can't just make stuff up, dude. You're right. So this, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Stella Emanuel. Now, you might not know who she is because she was just a mere blip on the tsunami of COVID misinformation that this administration peddled so openly. But Dr. Stella Emanuel was what the Turning Point USA grifters, she was the best they could do, basically, uh, with the hydroxychloroquine uh, nonsense. It was a testament to the conservative project and the think tanks basically falling apart or basically giving up. If you remember, she, she was immediately, immediately owned by even someone like myself and my audience were able to, with a cursory analysis, find videos of her talking about demon semen, videos of her uh, talking about witchcraft. This is a doctor, by the way, uh, who the Trump administration promoted as a, as a hydroxychloroquine advocate about the true nature of what has happened in this nation. Let it be an overturning in the spirit realm to bring about truth and righteousness in this nation. Let it be an overturning in the nation. Let it be an overturning even in this election that the will of the American people, the true will of the American people will come to pass. Not the will of Nephilims, not the will of the beast, not the will of all the globalists in Davos. Expose everything that is in the dark right now in the name of Jesus. That every power, every spirit, every personality that is giving power to wickedness in this nation. I feel like it didn't work. I might be mistaken, but I, I, I kind of feel like the, the prayers didn't really work. Now let's check out some tweets. Aubrey Huff, this is my serious prediction. Biggest shocker is California flipping red. Jerry Falwell Jr. had some thoughts. He said, the impeachment by the Democrats was at Pearl Harbor. I told the crowd at the Palm Beach GOP Christmas Hanukkah party tonight that I predict the 2020 election will be Hiroshima and Nagasaki for the Dems. These people think California was going to turn red. Like, that's how delusional they are. Wait, what? Is that true? Is he actually crying? Is this real, dude? This is so sad. We have a lot of evidence. President Trump has a lot of evidence. Oh, and he got the biggest and the baddest legal team. I mean, they are so good. But you know what? <laughs> Y'all wouldn't know that because you listen to the fake news. And you don't go out there and seek the truth for yourself. I mean, the truth can slap you right in the face and you wouldn't know it did. I mean, you, you, gotta, you, you, you gotta do your research, people. You gotta do your research. You gotta do your research, people. I mean, come on. Whenever they say, whenever they say, do your research, I, I love it. And President Trump will still be your president for four more years. So uh, I, if I were y'all, I wouldn't be celebrating so early. <laughs> Don't do it to yourself. Oh, that's so sad. I think he's having like a, like a nervous breakdown or something. It feels like, it feels like he's not all right. It feels like he's not doing all right. Don't hurt yourself See, like ladies that. and gentlemen, this is what happens when you, when you OD on the copium. There is such a thing. Like, you might think, you know, copium is good, but there is such a thing as overdosing on it. And, and here he is, ODing on the timeline. Candace Owens cope, what she have to say? When the turkeys realize they just voted for Thanksgiving, they will pray for a Owens 2024 ticket. I stand with Donald Trump. I stand against the state media. What? State media? The fuck does she mean, state media? I stand with our troops, law enforcement, and against the socialism that is attempting to anchor the shores of America. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's the socialism of the, of the Biden administration. I fucking wish, dude. What it's is been this? a hard-fought election. Over 70 million votes for Trump. Over 70 million votes for Biden.
And it's clear with the results that Biden has won. You know, Trump has talked a lot about the silent majority, but clearly in this election, you are the silent majority and you voted for Biden. Thank you. Thank you very much. My man drove to a graveyard to get 600 likes, dude. I mean, I guess it's new. Like, really, dude? You really drove to a fucking graveyard to get 94 retweets? Also, those Ray-Bans are so ugly, brother. That's like 2007. You make a gajillion dollars, like, selling G-Star or whatever the fuck you sell. Go get some drip. Shame. Shame on you. I think Kamala and Biden might be throwaway candidates. They know they are going to get steamrolled in the election. I really don't see the Democrats winning this. I think it's fair to say Trump's going to win re-election. I think Trump might have a massive, massive victory, which shocks the left. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Trump had a 49 state landslide. I think we could see a 49 state landslide. We may be. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, I didn't know it was this bad, dude. I thought it was like normal bad. Like, oh, yeah, I turned. I, I turned into a Trump supporter. Like, I thought he was just, like, grifting. I didn't realize he was, like, at the same level of, like, QAnon supporters delusional, dude. What? Oh, this is so fucking good. Oh, fuck yeah. No amount of mail-in ballots will matter. If Trump gets 537 or 36 or even 538 every single electoral vote, we all know Joe Biden will lose. Like, let's be real, man. As I've stated a million and one times, Donald Trump's going to win. The Republicans are going to sweep. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Biden has defeated Donald Trump. Oh, that's so rewarding, dude. This one's the best one. I bet my entire life savings for Trump winning 50,000 fucking euros. This is not a joke or a troll. You told me he was going to win in the last slide. What the fuck do I do? Oh, that's so delicious. That's juicy, dude. That's funny as fuck. This is perhaps the funniest part about 4chan shit posters. Like, they constantly operated like they were, you know, nihilistic and had no interest in things whatsoever. And throughout the process, they just probably recognized that they were racist as fuck, and that's why they love Donald Trump, right? They developed a love for Donald Trump. And you can't be a nihilistic shitlord if you love something. If you love anything, as a matter of fact, all of a sudden, you're no, you're no longer uh, willing to lose at all. And the funniest part about this take here is that 4chan shit posters used to hate the, the Hillbots, the, the Hillary Clintonites who were like constantly fucking shitting on Bernie Sanders, constantly shitting on like Jill Stein and whatnot. And those people still, of course, hate the left regardless. Even people like myself, you know, people who did vote for Hillary Clinton and did vote for Joe Biden. But because they loved... Donald Trump, they turned into like those Hillary Clinton fans. Look at this. Look. It's so good. Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. <laughs> If you voted libertarian, I actually fucking hate you more than anything right now. You fucking ruined everything. Biden is fucking won and it's all your fucking fault. Third party has never, ever won you stupid shit. My reaction personally is I think it's a little premature. It just sounds like there's going to be multiple states with uh, recounts and an off- Yikes, he's wearing a I can't adult today shirt, dude. Come on. That's fucking, that's so bad. Bro, you're like 50 years old. You can't wear that, dude. Wait, why are they beating the shit out of each other? Yo, Trump supporters. Oh, they're mad at the libertarians. 
Oh, because, like, they think libertarians are the ones who, who lost them the... Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's hilarious, dude. Yo, get him. Get him, libertarians. 